Gardening is an incredibly popular pastime, and it's not hard to see why. After all, not only can it have tangible benefits for anybody who grows their own herbs and vegetables, but it's also a great way to relax. In fact, studies have shown that gardening can even help in combating depression and anxiety. And in April 2018, Dom Lowe decided to partake in a little gardening himself. Lowe originally hails from Los Angeles but now lives close to Bristol, England, where he worked as the managing director of a local brewery before retirement. Dom had decided to take advantage of the good weather and do some work on the yard with some help from his son John. However, in a little used area of Dom's garden lay a mysterious void beneath the ground. The man himself would later describe this area to Bristol as a cesspit. Between them, the two were aiming to dig out the ground in order to install a fence in the garden. First, though, they decided to investigate the strange hole and find out what treasures or otherwise lay within. And it wasn't long before they made a startling discovery. At first, all Dom and John turned up was rusted vintage items and debris, old glass bottles, a metal iron, a colander, and even an OXO gravy tin. While interesting, they clearly weren't anything worth running to the police over. Indeed, they were simply everyday objects, presumably buried decades earlier. Then, however, they pulled out something a little less familiar. Yes, John handed his father an object that looked scarily like a fin from the tail end of a bomb, although the younger Lowe didn't recognize it at first, so he went back into the hole and pulled out something even more alarming. Specifically, John had retrieved what appeared to be an intact, unexploded bomb from the Lowe's garden. Furthermore, this item most likely hailed from the Second World War. After all, Bristol was fifth on the list of Britain's most bombed cities during the conflict. Luftwaffe pilots had used the River Avon by moonlight to find their way there. In the months from November 1940 to April 1941, six huge bombing raids and 77 smaller air raids took place in Bristol, killing 1,229 people. A further 1,303 victims suffered notable injuries, and a total of 697 people were pulled out of the rubble of the city. The first major bombing raid occurred on November 24, 1940, with 12,000 incendiary explosives falling on Bristol as the result of German planes. In that one event, 207 people lost their lives with several of the city's old palaces of worship on the receiving end of the onslaught. Bristol's Lord Mayor at the time, Alderman Thomas Underwood, would later say of the raid, the Council of Churches had in one night become the city of ruins. The longest bombardment the city suffered came in January 1941, however, and this endured for 12 terrifying hours. During the raid, the German Air Force dropped its largest incendiary device, nicknamed Satan, which weighed a staggering 4,400 pounds. Fortunately, though, the explosive didn't work properly, and a bomb disposal outfit managed to recover it in 1943. And while the final major spate of bombing in Bristol took place in April 1941, the smaller raids continued. Indeed, these aerial attacks didn't end until May of 1944, just over a year before the conclusion of World War II. All in all, more than 89,000 Bristolian buildings were damaged during the conflict, with over 81,000 homes totally eradicated. Even with that in mind, however, the Lowe's may have been surprised when they pulled the explosive from the ground. John didn't know what it was, but I said, that looks like part of a bomb to me, Dom told the Bristol Post. He handed it over straight away. However, Dom also noted that the pair didn't panic, at least not at first. But when the dad placed the bomb on the fence that they were building, it fell off. He and John then instinctively dived for cover, presumably in case the impact triggered some long dormant mechanism in the device. Fortunately, though, the bomb didn't go off. Instead, it lay quietly on the ground. But Dom and John didn't dare touch the item after that. And as a result, they decided to call in the professionals to take care of it. Not long after, a pair of officers from the Avon and Somerset Police Force arrived on the scene. The Lowe's also waited for the bomb disposal squad. Finally, a member of the Royal Logistics Corps Bomb Disposal Unit turned up to investigate the device. And once he'd completed his inspection, he confirmed that it did indeed originate from the Second World War. Yes, these strange objects the Lowe's had dug up from their garden was a genuine German incendiary. However, as part of his work, the bomb squad officer had performed an x-ray. After that, it was determined that the item was totally inert and therefore harmless. Thankfully then, the bomb wasn't about to explode decades after it had been dropped. 
and according to the Royal Logistics Corps member, World War II era German planes would add insult to injury during raids by launching these kinds of inert devices after they would completed their initial bombing runs. He said that they dropped empty ones amongst the live ones to hinder cleanup operations, Dom told the Bristol Post. Once it had been confirmed that the bomb was safe, however, officers allowed the Lowe's to keep their astonishing find. Indeed, to say it's memorable souvenir of their afternoon in the garden would be something of an understatement. So while it's not every day that you find an unexploded bomb in your garden, thankfully for all involved in this story, this particular slice of wartime history wasn't about to put anyone in mortal danger. Instead, it's simply a tangible reminder of the horrors of conflict and an experience that the Lowe's likely won't forget anytime soon.